five ones. So first of all, um, I'm sorry about the lighting because it's very odd and it look it's look it looks really blue in my screen. Um, as you know, I live in the UK and it's getting really dark really early now at like three o'clock. It's not ridiculous. So I, I'm trying to like, I've been breaking my neck trying to get this video filmed today before it gets dark. So I got to try and do this quite quickly. So this video is about my health, my favourite healthy snacks. And if they're not totally healthy, then it's like, you know, favourite, you know, less calorie snacks or better than grabbing a McDonald's basically, do you know what I mean? So not they're not all like, oh my god, they have no calories in them, they're like totally healthy, but um, they are more healthy than other snacks. Um, and it might give you guys some ideas, and I know it is coming to Christmas time, so it's not really a snack, um, a healthy snack and diet kind of time, but it, weirdly enough for me, I actually work out and eat more healthy um, in winter. I don't know why, I just do, but um, anyway, I thought I'd do this video, it will help you guys all year round hopefully. Nature Valley, oh, Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars. Um, these are like, I went through this m like crazy health kick once, um, a few years ago, and I, I would look at every single ingredient in everything, and these were like the healthiest bars I could find in like a Sainsbury's, um, so you know, somewhere that you can get granola bars from. And um, yeah, so I, my favourite are the oat and honey, oats and honey ones, um, and they look like this. And I just, if I know I'm going to be out for the day and I might not be able to grab something healthy at lunchtime or something, I will take one of these with me in my bag, and they do end up getting a bit battered if I don't eat them, but it's better than nothing and it's better than grabbing like fast food. So yeah, you get like quite a few in a box, so it lasts you quite a while. I eat this a lot, um, hummus. Uh, which is mainly made from chickpeas, olive oil, lemon juice. Um, you can make it yourself. Oh, and, and sesame seeds, apparently. Um, you can make it yourself, which is probably healthier than buying it in the store. I just usually do go for the one that is pre-made. Um, and I like the organic one. You can get a reduced fat one, but it kind of takes the nice flavour out of it. Um, my mum has this thing. She's always said, like, a lot of the reduced fat um, snacks and foods, they actually kind of take out some of the calories, I guess, but they replace that with... it. Either It's kind of, like, not worth it. If it takes out all the flavour, what's worth eating it in any way? Do you know what I mean? And sometimes they replace it with worse chemicals and stuff like that. Um, and... Uh, don't get me started on Diet Coke. <laughs> Why would you drink Diet Coke? It's not healthy. Anyway, um, so I love hummus and I love hummus best with pizza bread and I always have wholemeal pizza bread. I usually have the organic one from Sainsbury's, um, but you know, any pizza bread really, um, I always go for wholemeal. So I just have that in there with a bit of margarine. Or you can like dip in carrot sticks and celery sticks in hummus and it tastes really, really good. Another good snack, which is quite obvious, but one that I have to include it, is fruit. So if you, don't know, if I'm going somewhere, sometimes I'll just chuck in some fruit into my bag, so banana. <laughs> um, but I like apples for traveling because they don't really get squashed as much. So I love bananas. I love um, slicing up bananas in my um, cereal in the morning or in my porridge. And I just, yeah, fruit is gonna keep you going. It contains a lot of fiber. And some of them do contain a lot of sugar, but I'm not into the whole avoid fruit because there's sugar in it, because it's natural sugar, your body needs that sugar anyway, so I'm not um, a fan of like cutting anything out of your diet. Some more fruit that um, I'd suggest is, well, my, one of my favourites when I'm, for when I'm out and about is pineapple. Uh, this is just a pound from uh, Sainsbury's. I love pineapple, I love pineapple juice, I love pineapple chunks. Um, pineapple rings, they're all the same thing really. <laughs> but I love pineapple. Um, you can also get grapes, like these are just cheap ones but I'm just showing you. Um, grapes are great for if you're just like watching telly and you want a snack but you don't want to eat bad. Um, so yeah, grapes they're quite a... Uh, what's the word? Like you just keep eating them and eat them. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of fruit. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely need fruit and vegetables. Oh, my next one is vegetables, so, okay, so in regards to vegetables and, I mean, you need vegetables obviously in your daily diet, but in the ter in terms of snacking, I uh, usually do, like, I will snack on like a bowl of vegetables, so I'll have a bowl of peas, a bowl of sweet corn, a bowl of, um, oh, a bowl of broccoli, uh, I just, I like a lot of different vegetables, so if you're really feeling like you want something really healthy, and say you've eaten quite bad rest of the day and you want one of your snacks to be good, just have like a bowl of vegetables. Um, if not, mix them into like your dinner, your lunch, wouldn't say breakfast, but yeah. <laughs> 
Speaking of vegetables, uh, this is one of my favourite things, even though it is mm, slightly more on the pricey side. Um, I love these veg pots, and I don't get them a lot because they are about £3 something. Um, but they are, I think they're they're re such a good idea. Uh, you can buy, I, I bought this in Sainsbury's, they, and you put it in the microwave, or I think you can um, cook it on the hob. And it's just full of vegetables, there's different um, ones, but my favourite is the Indian dal one. Um, and it contains spicy cauliflower, chickpeas and fresh spinach, which are all really good for you. Um, so yeah, I, I think these are just really good idea and really quick and really easy. Um, and they just save you a lot of time because you literally, it cooks for about four minutes in the microwave. Um, yeah, so I love these veg ports. They're one of my favourite things for snacking. Oh, I'll even have this sometimes for a dinner if I'm feeling like I don't need a lot to eat at dinner time. Okay, my main lunch and if I'm at home and I want something healthy, because I, I don't usually eat bad at home, I always make a salad at lunchtime. Um, you'll always catch me making a salad. And I'll put in a bit of footage of like one of my salads. But basically I just make, you know, a normal salad. I chuck a lot of different things into it. And uh, I put in tuna, so I have my protein intake for the day. And I usually put in avocado as well, if I have avocado with me. I love avocados. I love them so much. <laughs> they are high fat for, um, are they a fruit? Oh god, are they a fruit or a vegetable? That's really, that's gonna sound so stupid. But they are quite high fat, but then again, it's a natural, it, it's natural, do you know what I mean? So it's fine for your body to have this kind of fat, it's a good fat. I think they're really good and I'll have them like, say every other day or something in my salad. I just love avocados. Um, but yeah, I usually have a tuna salad, um, so that's really good snack on salads anyway in general. Next is nuts and seeds, and um, again, when I went on that crazy health kick, I did, I ate a lot, I snacked on pretty much just nuts or seeds, and um, the best nuts for you, I'd say, are almonds, walnuts, uh, oh god, there's others. <laughs> uh, one of my favourites is cashews, but I know it's slightly more a fatty nut. Again, they're quite healthy fats, but you don't want to have more than, say, a handful of that... <laughs> more than a handful of nuts, because uh, it will be too much fat, you know? Uh, too much of a fat intake. So you want to keep your nuts down to <laughs> a small portion. Um, an example of, like, this kind... This, uh, time of year as well and nuts is all oh, um, walnuts this is like a bag of walnuts I got at Sainsbury's just now and they're not cheap nuts for some reason but um, yeah I mean you could like while you're sitting watching telly you could like crack the nuts and <laughs> enjoy eating them they contain a lot of goodness for you and I can't remember everything that they actually contain but they are really good for you walnuts in particular Sushi is another massive, like, really, really good snack for you. Um, when I'm out and about, sometimes I'll pick up sushi from, like, Mark Suspensers or um, Whole Foods. Whole Foods does amazing sushi. Oh, if you can find them. There's not a lot of Whole Foods around in the UK. Um, so sushi's really good. Um, I just don't like the raw um, fish. I have to have, like, the cooked salmon or the cooked tuna <laughs> or just with vegetables in it. Um, so sushi is another really good healthy snack. Um, again, if you want quite a quick, healthier kind of snack, and you can mix this with vegetables as well, couscous. You can. This is obviously like a flavored couscous, but I also buy like it, it's like a wholemeal kind of couscous or any you know just a normal couscous from the supermarket, and you can mix that with um, some vegetables and. Uh, I put soy sauce in it because I don't know if everyone else does what I do, <laughs> but these are ones that if you wanted want it to be quite quick. Um, these I picked up these the other day from Sainsbury's and they're really cheap. They're about 80p, 89p or something like that, and um, the calorie count isn't very high at all. Um, it says it's 192 calories um, and 196 calories, so that's not a lot at all um, for like quite a healthy snack. Another snack that I will um, I don't always have these, but um, they are one of my favourite foods ever, olives. So I'll go through, like, I could go through all of these at once, like, if you want to challenge me, I'll go through all of them. <laughs> but, um, I actually, right, you guys tell me, okay, because I, I know what I'm talking about with all of the other things, but with olives, like, are they really good for you, or are they, they can't be really bad for you, right, but tell me if you should have, like, only a few at once, or if you can eat as many as you want because of the the fat or you know the oil in them so 
let me know because but anyway they're one of my favorite i thought healthier snacks if i'm wrong you can correct me <laughs> another snack is um sometimes i'll have this every now and then um i love greek yogurt it's so nice um this is again from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's is down the road from me, that's why all my stuff is from Sainsbury's. Uh, Greek yogurt and honey. Um, honey's great for natural, more naturally, naturally um, sweetening anything that you're eating. Um, I, I use honey in my porridge and my cereal, and it's just a really good natural sweetener. Um, better than honey is nectar, agave nectar. If you can find that, they do sell it. It's just a bit more expensive. Um, so this is empty, but. Um, uh, Greek yogurt and honey is the nicest thing ever and again um, I don't really I try not to have a lot of dairy products I don't have I don't drink milk um, but I have the only dairy product I will probably have apart from cheese don't get me started on cheese but I'm not going to include that in this video because it's bad for you is yogurt <laughs> but um, only Greek yogurt because that's the only one I really like Another healthy snack is soup. Soup is really wholesome, really healthy, um, and really filling. It depends what one you get though. Um, steer away from the soups with cream in. So if you like tomato soup, um, don't get the, the cream tomato, what is it? Tom cream of tomato soup or something like that. Get the one that looks slightly more liquidy in the, um, in the pot. Um, Steer away from cream because that's how they add in all the fat into the soup so make them unhealthy. Um, stick to your ones like lentils and vegetables and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, soup is really good for this time of year as well because it warms you up and it's just really, really wholesome. I don't always have these again. Uh, sometimes I do, but wholemeal and tortilla wraps. Because, um, you know, say if you're having a Mexican meal, if you um, throw in some wholemeal wraps it's slightly better for you but what I would do in, in terms of snacks with the wraps sometimes I'll make a kind of tuna salad again or like you know get some lettuce some tuna and some cucumber and I'll put it inside the wrap and wrap it up in it and um, put a bit of vinaigrette on it and it's just a really good healthy I it's a nice healthy snack um also when I make salad I make my own vinaigrette I don't use any pre-made um sauces or anything but that's the way of adding calories and they probably put a little crap in the um ready-made vinaigrette so I make my own one uh which my mum taught me the recipe because she used to work in restaurants and that <laughs> and then uh last but not least um I'm not obviously going to include anything naughty in this video but if you wanted, if you really um, crave chocolate, um, if you're a chocoholic, I'm not a chocoholic at all. I don't really crave chocolate a lot um, or anything sweet like that. But the only thing, if I really want to really have a craving for chocolate, I will get this one um, or the bigger one of this, obviously. And it's the Green and Black's Organic 70% Cocoa, I think it is. Yeah, dark chocolate. And it is so nice. Well, well I like dark chocolate. If you don't, you probably won't like it. But um, I love this, so I think that's a slightly healthier way to have chocolate and um, dark chocolate. And it, dark chocolate has um, antioxidants in it, so you could always, you know, say that to make yourself feel a bit better. It does have antioxidants. So they are my healthy snacks. Um, I hope that you could take that all in. And um, again, you know, people might say, "Oh, that's not healthy. You shouldn't eat that." But these, this is the, these are the things that I like. So you know, I'm not perfect. They obviously some of them do have calories in. You're not going to escape that unless you eat literally like lettuce and cucumber and apples all day. <laughs> so uh, these are my just more more healthy snacks. Um, I just wanted to add in because when you're out and about it is really hard to eat healthy and I find that really challenging sometimes. Um, if I go to Nando's if I, and I want to be healthy I will get, which is just slightly more healthy, I will get the couscous salad. Um, if I'm in, if you're, this is all if you're in the UK, if I'm in Pret-a-Manger I will get the hummus wrap um, or the superfood salad. <laughs> if I'm in Marks and Spencers I love the, um, it's like a... It's like a salad in like an oval packaging and it has salmon and in it and potatoes. It's like Lochmere salmon and potatoes and it has a cucumber and, le and lettuce. Or those little um, pots that have like um, giant couscous and stuff like that. Um, if I'm in McDonald's, don't go to McDonald's. <laughs> the only thing that I found out is 
slightly more calories than better if you're in McDonald's is just fish fingers. If I go to Starbucks, literally nothing in Starbucks is that healthy. Maybe the new bistro boxes are, I'm not sure, I've not tried them. But um, um, I love the paninis, but I know they're really bad for you, so I'm not going to tell you to get that either. But um, I'll just get a drink from Starbucks anyway. Um, I can't think of any more places that when I'm out and about I get that, but I will put it down below if I remember other things. So quick tips are, for me, like, I don't try to snack too much in a day. I don't even snack that often. I just usually have my three meals a day. Try not to snack after about six o'clock. And if you're really bad at snacking, try not to snack after eight o'clock. Try to include a lot of fruit and veg into your diet, obviously. Drink a lot of water. It really, really does help. Exercise, obviously, as well. I'm not going to go into the whole health and fitness. But, um, yeah. And just stay away from cheese. Even though I love cheese, but being healthy, try and stay away from cheese. I don't eat um, a lot of bread. Um, so wholemeal bread is better for you, obviously, but I steer, steer away from bread in general because it's quite bloating and it makes me feel very, very full and big. Um, but I obviously eat pita bread, so just not the normal bread. Oh, if you are going to snack um, badly, um, have your bad foods more towards the beginning of the day rather than late at night or the end of the day because you've got all day to kind of burn off that fat that you've had at the beginning of the day um, so it's better to eat earlier if you're gonna eat bad. Another tip is try to, if you if you really wanna be, if you wanna start eating more healthily and having more healthy snacks, try and make like, uh, when you can make your own food, try and make it healthy. And then when you are out with friends or invited out for dinner or something, that's when you can kind of, you know, have your bad time of eating the naughty foods and also don't be too hard on yourself you only live once at the end of the day um this is just a video for you know if you need help if you want advice or just new ideas for snacks but don't beat yourself up you only live once um so don't like um stop yourself from eating all bad things because they do taste good we're not gonna lie <laughs> and um yeah, obviously have your bad things as well. Just balance it out. It's all about balance um, and it's all a way of life. I can't think of any more tips at the moment. If you want me to do a video on like my daily diet and more about diet and fitness, let me know. But this is just healthy snacks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please do let me know. And if you want to share your healthy snacks that you like, leave them down below. Um, I just want to say hi and a shout out to Annie's Beauty Life because I was watching her videos not too long ago and she did kind of spark this idea for me to do this because she's quite about healthy eating as well. So I wanted to say hi. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.